guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Luke. I'm Cooper. And, and we're the, the Coil Twins. Twins. Okay, seriously, the time has come where I think we need to stop addressing you guys as hey guys in every video because you're more than guys to us. You know yes. what I mean? We feel like we are growing a family. We're literally a, a friendship, family. you know, so we kind of have ideas of what we want to call you guys. Maybe something more personal, you know? So definitely comment down below what you think our subscribers, our fandom name should be called. <laughs> We have an idea. I don't know if we should say it yet. I think we should. Honestly, we were thinking, we're like, why don't we just start every video with, hey, Coil Crew? Cause like, because we feel like you guys are like our little crew, you know? You the know? Coil Crew. I think that's a good idea. And as our family, like our parents always be like, the Coil Crew, you know? To like, our so siblings. let us know if you guys like that idea, if you have any other options, and we will gladly take I'm kind of here for Coil Crew, though. <laughs> so before we get started with this video, we really just wanted to sit down and just take a minute and address our latest video we just posted, our coming out video to our mom. Guys, the uh, response we got was so amazing. I am still like shook at what you guys have been leaving us. We thought, you know, it would have a good response, but it really just like took us, like blew us away. Like we didn't realize how many of you guys are like supporting us and watching us and so many amazing comments. We were getting so many amazing the messages. The positivity and is like, was of, amazing. Of people sending their stories and we were messaging you guys back. It was such a good discussion to have about coming out to your parents and having a good experience with it. And you know, like your parents taking it well. So many of you guys were saying how amazing that video is for maybe other parents that aren't as accepting to use as a guide and kind of like a blueprint to how they should treat their kids coming out and our mom she was so blown away by the amazing we are reading all the too. comments to her and she goes oh my god they were saying that about me like she was like oh really yeah. like it was you guys are seriously just have been the best and i feel so much closer to you guys now i'm so happy we can just be open and honest everything, about everything. Is, yeah now we can just talk about anything give you guys that Juicy gossip that yes. 411. Because I feel like we low key have been living like a double life online. Like we haven't been able to share anything really. But yeah, that's why we realized it would be perfect to jump into our first ever Q and A. Q and slay. <laughs> or maybe in our case now, Q and gay. Oh no no no! We are not we are not that cheesy. We are not going to be those YouTubers. Okay, no. We already but, are. So yeah. well, yeah. So we went over to our Instagrams and we asked you guys to comment any questions you wanted to know about us anything you know nothing's off limits okay and some of these questions y'all okay some of you guys have some naughty minds okay i was not expecting y'all y'all can be nosy too but i'm here for it because i'm nosy so I'm nosy it's okay too. i don't blame you no but we got a lot of questions i was not expecting that so we're gonna try to answer all of them as much as we can today quick plug we're talking about like Instagram. If you're not following us on Instagram, well, what are you doing? If we're not on YouTube, we're on Instagram. Keeping up with the Coil Twins. I mean, that isn't a shirt. Come on. <laughs> that, that, that's a shirt right there. Yeah. Okay, let's get into the questions. Okay, so the first question I got was from MP64. How did you guys come out to each other? And we're actually gonna do a whole separate video on kind of our growing up and how we came, how out, we to came each other, out to each other, going into depth on our sexual. That would be a full. That's gonna be like a full twenty minute video because it's actually pretty interesting how we came out to each other and it's it's a very long story. So okay, so the next question is by Queen twenty three. Yes, girl. Hey, Queen. <laughs> she said, "Do you guys wear makeup?" And this is actually one of our most asked questions. Before it was, are you gay? And then the second one was always, do you guys wear makeup? Or well, you're wearing makeup as that was like some sort of People answer. would always try to clock us like, y'all wearing makeup. And obviously it's no secret, we do wear makeup when we're filming, but on a normal day-to-day -day basis, we don't wear makeup. Um, when we film videos. But then again, it's not like we're some like Manny MUA Jeffree Star wearing makeup. Yeah. I'll literally wear powder to match my spray tan. Like, yeah. that's what it is. We literally so, just wear like, like concealer and powder. I mean, we only started wearing makeup back in high school when our skin was really, really bad. And we kind of had to because if you guys know our face journey and our acne story, it was so bad. We had pizza face. So, you know, we started having to wear like concealer for that. And it always kind of just stuck. But I, we only wear it when we film or when we're taking pictures. And honestly, just because it completes the look. And also, it's not that big of a deal. Literally, everyone, whether you want to believe it or not, when they're filming on camera, is yeah. wearing makeup, some sort of powder. And it's really not much at all. And honestly, it's like I don't go outside to tan because I'm trying to save my skin. So, so I would rather just add some color to myself rather than be burning my face. So yeah, we're thinking ahead, thinking about our skin <laughs> when we're older. Yeah. But we are actually gonna do like a whole like 
little get ready with me kind of thing. Because what products we use. What yeah. products we use. So you don't look clockable, you know? Like, you know, you want to look put together, but not like clocky, you know? But like, if some people are like, ooh, he's wearing makeup, you're like, yes, girl, I am. But to the normal Joe, they're like, oh, oh no. You know, yeah. he has just really nice skin, so. Are you guys twins or do you just look alike? Cooper commented that one, good one, wow. Like <laughs> the that. best question of the day. Oh my god, I'm done. <laughs> okay, okay, so Mitchell Lears, I'm probably gonna butcher We're, we're so bad with names, oh my, god. oh my god. He said, what would you say your type is and how has the dating scene changed since you've come out? Mm, okay, um, that's, that's a fully loaded question. That's a good question, um, Mitchell. The dating scene has not really changed at all because we're not really been... on the dating scene no no i mean what's very interesting is our second year at college we were kind of a part of like the gay nightclub life i Go feel like about, yes. we're gonna do a dedicated video on that because we have some tea to spill on the oh, new york city course, gays yes. okay we're coming for you i think we're charles gross right now that's what he did i know literally <gasps> also, goals we need a also we, by the way we live for him like i know he lives in, in the city like in new york like if you guys could like tag him or something yeah. and be like, I would love to collab, collab with, with the Coral Twins because he is like on our list. Like, he's I my best friend him. in my head. Like in my head, yes, I live for him. Just like all his videos, his style, I live. So whenever anyone asks me what, what my type is, I always have the same answer. I oh, always hit everyone up with. You do. You do. So ask me. Ask me what, what my type is. Luke. Luke, what's your type? Um, you know, I would say eighty plus, on the deathbed, in the hospital, with my name in the will. Oh, I mean, I was just gonna say, like, as long as you're breathing, <laughs> and, like, you're alive. No, but seriously, but... okay, like, that's always my <laughs> go-to answer, I love saying that, it's like, give me that coin. No, but seriously, seriously, that's just a joke, but honestly, if you ask me what my type is, it really, I really feel like it depends, and, like, over time, I'll have to look back and see, and, like, look back For and me, see, like... it is person. it is, I know, like, that's so corny, it's personality, but, like, I really am so specific on personality, and it's but just you know a matter of vibing with you. I agree with that, because if you don't get my references, if you don't, like, if we can't go back and forth about Housewives or Drag Race or, like, some sort of meme I saw on Twitter, mm -hmm. then I don't... It's or some gonna old work. Vine. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's gonna work, you know? Also, like, I have, like, so many... I realize I have a lot of pet peeves about people, and I just like people that don't take themselves so seriously. Yes, yes. Because the moment you think, like, you're, like, above something or you're too cool for no, something... No, 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 not today. That's not just today. such a turn-off for me. And at the end of the day, there are so many pretty faces in the world. And, like, I don't really care. It's like, congrats. Like, you were born... Like, thanks to your parents. You were born with a great face. <laughs> so it's really just personality. Okay, so Jasmine E. V. Tank. Okay, I'm here for that username. These names, yes. <laughs> Have you guys ever dated anyone? If yes, then whom? Okay, so no, I haven't dated anyone. And to be honest, I haven't really had the time. I mean, our past year in college was really our first year. We were kind of on the scene, if you will. Yeah, and we neither of us have ever been in a relationship. I don't, you know what? Like, I feel like it takes I'm a not while for one, to yeah. get to know someone. And that's just not in the cards for me right now. We're so focused on, like, our career, and we finally... As cliche as that sounds. I know, but, like, that is, like, the honest truth. And like, we finally just got off of the hurdle of, like graduating college, and now we're just trying to pedal to the metal with YouTube. But also, like, even though we both are single now, like, I'm not looking for anyone. I'm perfectly fine with being on my own. Like, I'm not someone that, yeah. like, uh, I think there are some anymore. people that, like, just so desperately need a relationship, and that's not me. I mean, if it happens, it happens. Yeah. But like, I'm not, like, searching for anything, yeah, so. Yeah, exactly. Who is usually your photographer for your Instagram pics? Okay, this is a really funny question, because we take each other's pictures, yes. but... The biggest struggle of being is twins. trying to get like someone to take photos for you. I mean, I'm sure you guys can relate. Like, if you're just by yourself. Yeah. So normally, like, if we're home, like our mom will take them. But when we are our back, mom is our best photographer. You already know she's getting those angles. We're like, Ma, get low. She's get turning high. into like Chris Jenner. Like Kim, you're doing amazing. Kim, you're doing amazing. That's us. But even back at college, we had our one friend, uh, Adaria. Adaria. We'd always call her up. We'd hang out. She would take our pictures and she would come through. Adaria, if you're watching this, you saved our lives the past semester. We would like call her up at the worst hours. We're like, hey, we need to do like a dance video for Instagram want to come down and then an hour later she would have to deal like with our annoying asses we'd be like wait one more take we get it from this angle like yeah, we're so it, OCD it okay so this is a really good question passion polish 1414 asks okay. what's the best advice you ever received or a quote you live by love you oh, oh I, love I, you know, too. I know this one I know this one our favorite quote is drum roll come on Dr. Seuss at first they'll ask why you're doing it later they'll ask how you did it and that pretty much says it all. Anything you do that's somewhat ambitious, 
People are going to be looking Why at you. Why are they doing that? Why are they doing That's that? That's so weird. What are they yeah. doing? But then once you make it big, they're going to be asking you how you did it, trying to... They want to know all the it. answers, and now all of a sudden, they're interested. And oh, that okay. is seriously anything in life. Like, you could just be doing your hair differently, and someone's like, why are you doing that? And then one day, they're like, wait, how did you do that? Can I get the tutorial? Where's the YouTube? It just goes to show, like, people that don't believe in you, and then once you make it, they're like, oh, I was there all along. It's like, no, you weren't. No. No, no, no. And also, there's a lot of other quotes. I love, maybe I'll... We're not... <laughs> Look at my Twitter. Look at... Come on, uh, plug for Twitter. Look at my Twitter. You'll see my corny little quotes. Really? Okay. What are your weirdest habits slash quirks? And if you guys didn't know, I'm, like, very, like, OCD, especially with my hair. Like, if the wind comes and we're outside and it gets effed up, it is just I think you're just OCD with your hair. Like, my hair looks good, everything else. But only on days when you're dressed up. Yeah. And we okay. only get dressed, like, once a week, so... That's true. No, but, like... Growing up, I had this weird thing where the blinds had to be a certain way. I'd have to wake up and they had to be perfectly. <laughs> my mom always be yelling at him. But like just other little things. I know everyone has their little. Quirks. I mean, for me, I'm like OCD and I have quirks when it comes to my not what food I'm eating because I'll just at this point I'll eat anything. It is how I'm eating. People clock me. All my friends like come for me because we'll be watching a YouTube video and they're like, "Oh my god, you literally have like 20 tabs open of different videos." And that's because I always Very like to true. be prepared when I'm eating. I always want to be entertained. Like it's an event when you're eating. Like it's an event. Like I don't understand the people that just like eat on a whim and they're like running outside and they're like, ooh, just gonna like scarf down this pizza. It's like, no, I want to sit down and enjoy it and make sure everything's perfect. Like I have to have my blanket perfect. I have to have like my glasses, like no fog in my glasses. Like I'm just so okay, weird. Okay, okay, we get it, we get it. So you guys get it. First of all, I'm screaming. There are literally multiple people asking if we have ever kissed on some incest shit. It's like, what is going through your head? Sweetie, we are not in Texas. No. Well, like, why is that like, a no shade to anyone in Texas, but you know. Okay. All right, so the next question is by S.Unny. So, hey, Sunny. I, mean, I think I just a answered one of her questions well. Yes, come on, two questions in a row. What inspired you guys to start becoming influencers on YouTube? Well, to answer that, we have always loved YouTube so much growing up. Since, like, we were so young. It's yeah, crazy. and I feel like it just, we always thought, oh, wow, we would love to do YouTube. It was but, our safe place. Like we, yeah. like, we didn't really, of course we had friends growing up, but we were never a part of, like, those friend groups of all the friends and all the stuff going on. So a lot of times it was just us. So we went to YouTube to try to find other people like us. Yeah, exactly. And we watched it, and we always thought it was so far-fetched. We were like, oh, we would love this. We would love to do it, but we didn't think we would be able to. It was a lot of self-confidence. Something kind of came over us, and we were like, hey, I feel like we could do this. And it was just kind of, like, in the cards and meant I mean, me. honestly, looking back, we have kind of always marched to the beat of our own drum, and I feel like that's what makes, like, an influencer or a YouTuber, if you will. And I feel like we were kind of, like, natural-born influencers. Like, yeah. even back in high school, people would always be asking us where we got our clothes, how we did our hair, all this stuff. And so. even looking back, if we it, were a little rough around the edges, <laughs> I mean, we did. A little. We really did, like, kind of pull our own things together, and we wore our own hair. Like, no one else was really like us. Robert Mitchell asks, what are your favorite songs? From Bangers, Miley's album, which is kind of like her best album, which is debatable. That is but, so hard. Yeah, that's like what made us love her back in 10th grade. So, I mean, off the top of my head, I would have to either say, I really love like the non-singles, like either on my own or mm -hmm. someone else. I always end up falling in love with like the non-singles off someone's album. Yeah. Because I feel like the singles that are on the radio kind of get overplayed. And I feel like the singles are like my own personal song, you know, like no one else. No, really not that you, you mean the non-singles. Oh, the non-singles, sorry. Yeah. Mine is probably do my thing, because I remember at that time in my life, I like needed like an anthem to just tell me to be like, just do your thing, okay? Do and your just, thing. So do nothing. your thing. And, and that, that, that should have been a single. Let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah. like that was paid like such does. I just have so many <laughs> memories of me, Luke, and our oldest sister. We drive to school in the morning, and we would blast do my thing. We need the whole rap. The whole album. Bang, I mean, honestly, bitch. You think I'm strange, bitch? <laughs> no, but seriously, like, the thing, I love how you guys know that we're Miley stands because, like... That makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah. Fran XXI at Sisk, Fran X Sisk, He is, like, taking it so seriously reading these usernames. I cannot read these names. <laughs> Worst fashion trend you guys wore and felt looked good at the moment, but now look back on. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. It's really funny because the other day I was actually cleaning out our closet from high school and I was getting rid of all these clothes to make room for our clothes from college. 
And I was just looking at all this stuff. I'm like, why were we wearing this? Everything was oversized. Like yeah, all we the wore shirts. Like, like flowy things. And we are wearing printed shirts right now, but we were obsessed with Forever 21. We would wear like pineapple shirts. Like, uh, and like, I guess like we were kind of feeling our fantasy back in the day, but now I look back and I'm like, hey, 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 hey. Okay, so only Coil asked, how do you feel about your fan base slowly growing? First of all, shout out to all of our little fan accounts. You guys like make my day. Oh with my god! The yes. little edits, like it's uh, kind of crazy. It's like it's what? Like, little old us have little fan accounts. It's like it's what? so weird to me. I'm like, ew. Why do you like us? We're like. Uh, <laughs> but to answer your question, honestly, it feels so amazing, and it feels like our hard work and dedication, you know, for the past like year and a half is finally kind of paying off. And you know, we're not obviously where we want to be. We're not these like huge, uh, big people on YouTube, but. It is something, and because we were so used to last summer posting all these videos and literally getting 200 to 300 views. I mean, like, even when we started, I think literally just like our friends that and goes our to mom show, wait, but was that, watching the video. Yeah, but that goes to show that we're in it for the right reasons. We we knew right away we weren't getting money, we weren't getting... We still aren't getting money. We're, <laughs> no, still, like, we're literally still not getting anything. We just, you guys just need to understand, we do this because we love it. And, and now that we just have a couple more people watching, we do it for you now. Now it's like motivation. Now it's even more motivation because like... In the beginning, literally no one was watching our So you videos. have to do it for yourself and because you love it, you know? And it was just still so fun and I still love doing it now. It's just so cool that like there's like an interaction. We haven't been on camera in like two weeks and I'm so excited. Like I want to answer all these questions. I know. We have so much more and I feel bad we're not going to be able to get to all of them. But some of them are like, ooh, these would be good video ideas to talk about. You guys are giving us good video ideas. On a serious note, it just is so awesome. Like I feel like you guys like understand us better than anyone else because you watch your videos and you know us. And just know that we appreciate every single person even if you're a silent viewer I like I'm so much silent supporters for people that like I won't even comment on their videos or like they wouldn't even know I exist but I like love them and stand them so, so even you know, if you like, just watch our videos it just means or so just much. a simple like or a follow like, and that's all that we matters. seriously like we try to respond to all of our comments all of our tweets because like you guys are taking your time out of your day to like write something nice to us like I'm gonna respond back, and I love having conversations with you guys. It's just so fun. We're like a big, happy family. <laughs> we can go well, big, on. small family, but <laughs> we can go on. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much Thank for, you guys watching. for watching. That's, That's a wrap. wrap.